worked out a route through the heart of the capital, taking in most of the important tourist spots on foot. Not only is walking the healthiest option, but it's very easy on the pocket. Our trail takes us through the royal parks and the streets of Westminster, on past St Paul's in the city, crossing the River Thames at Tower Bridge, along the South Bank and back across to Big Ben and Westminster Abbey. Walking tours, you can see little details, you're completely at your own time and you learn far more than any other way of doing it. And I think it's a really good opportunity to get to know the city, especially for tourists, because they often don't realise how close areas in London actually are. This is Royal London, what millions of tourists expect to see, and generally they are not disappointed wherever they manage to stand. The forecourt of Buckingham Palace hosts probably the best free show in London. Oh, I do love a uniform. We haven't quite reached Covent Garden yet, but the lamb and flag is extremely well known in the area. This is so narrow, Dave. Probably hasn't changed in 300 years. Yeah, I know. And of course, the history of the pub dates back to before America was even founded. With the pub being so old, are there any spooky elements to it? Yes, we have a house ghost by the name of George. He allegedly was a French sailor who was knifed to death after having a gamble on the bare knuckle fights that took place here. Well, there's St Paul's, we're going to walk along the embankment towards it. It started on the 2nd of September, 1666, at about one o'clock in the morning in Thomas Farriner's bakery in Pudding Lane. And five days later, it had consumed four-fifths of the city of London. So it was probably one of the biggest disasters in London's history. You do like the river, don't you? Henry VIII had two of his wives beheaded here. And despite English common law declaring torture to be illegal, the rack was particularly popular under the Tudors. The one at the tower was said to have never stood idle. The time of opening has to be pre-booked and the bridge will be staffed accordingly. Ships can expect no more than five minutes leeway during busy traffic periods. Cross Tower Bridge and then all the way up through the Thames Path to London Bridge. A pillar of respectability stands only a few metres from this mayhem. Tiny Southwark Cathedral is a beautiful place of worship, dating back to the 7th century. A capsule can be hired, I believe. Yes, it can. Um, we hire it for weddings. Um, I think that Valentine's Day is our most popular day for our Cupid's capsule. Um, last Valentine's Day we had 30 proposals alone that we knew of. Um, and it's lovely, it's just the two of you with your host and champagne and truffles. All in all, it's been a marvellous walk through the very heart of our capital city. Well, this is the end of our trail. There's so much more to London than we can show you. No matter how many times you come, you'll always discover something new. You'll just have to come and make your own trail. <laughs>